A word for our listeners. Masks of Nyarlathotep is set in the 1920s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Join us each week as our investigators follow a path of clues and attempt to save the world from an ancient evil. Starring John Quiet, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, George Chimples, Jason Hall, and Scott Troiano with Matt Quiet running the table as keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome back to Masks of Nerlithotep. I'm Matt, and I'm here with Shirley. Hello. Jason. Hello. George. What up? Scott. Hello. John. Hi. And Justin. Howdy. Thank you for joining us back after our side quest. I hope you enjoyed the uh, wonderful adventure of the Graceful Tiger. And now we'll get back into our story in Egypt. So as we left you guys, uh, you had just gotten out from underneath the pyramids. Um, You're short a couple members. (laughs) Actually, I guess technically Burn is technically with you in physical form. Uh, I assume you guys are heading back to the town and getting him checked into the mental hospital. Or you're going to use his uh, excessive funds for Mr. Weld to send him back home. I, I would like an explanation of the, from the professor of what we just did. Oh, well, we did just end point. with a demonic seeming sure. ritual to some sure. members of the party. So that would be a good question you could ask him. Clearly not demonic. I didn't sacrifice any of you. Except Wilkerson. <laughs> <laughs> Wilkerson is dead. What do you mean? Okay, so you can go ahead and ask him. In character. Well, I in character, it. I am sitting cross-legged in the dunes, fondling my gun, staring at it with a very upset <laughs> expression on my face. So, uh, you know, if someone wants to engage with that, that's cool. So you're, uh, what, full metal jacket mode? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a good way putting it. Well, I was like, what are you doing, Jason? <laughs> So whoever's there can suggest a course of action, or we can just hang out in the sands. We need to get back to town. Yeah, I'm all for getting the hell out of here. We should leave. What did we just do? Remember those things you uh, read about in Courtney's journal? Yes, demons and jinns and so forth. Yes. We just consorted with them. Well. No, not in this moment. He's an alternate type of being. An yes, alternate sir. type of being. <clears throat> An angel? Are, yes. Now that would be a Judeo-Christian reference. Yes, an angel. Ju- Judeo-Christian. Your insight is lacking, Professor. <clears throat> I'm going to roll. No, I fail. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter what I was going to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not comfortable talking or consorting or doing the bidding of such things. Okay. You never did any of those? Yes. We delved into this pyramid because of a task that you set before us. A task which was set before you by that thing. No, he offered to assist. We were here because of the tide of the Carlisle Expedition. Because of the what? The Carlisle Expedition. Underneath this pyramid? No, they were... With this dagger? No, that... (sighs) The Carlisle Expedition was tied into this. As you can see from the people that were involved in this action. And you are involved with demons and a demon worshipper. No. Then why do you talk with demons? I have never talked to a demon. You just did. I was there and I saw it. Doctor, your opinion on this? Um. From what I know, there are good entities and bad entities, and he contacted this entity so that he it may help us. Do you have a faith, Doctor? (coughs) 
Growing up in America, my, it's, it's, um, it's, you're probably Protestant. Yeah, Protestant. Yeah, I'm some angle. Couldn't it just be science? Mm. In the 20s? No. Atheism um. <laughs> it is less common. But it would be with, depending on her background. It's possible. It's up to you. <clears throat> yes, I do have a faith. I believe in God. Then what is it that we spoke with? Do you feel it was one of his angels? I believe it possibly. Given the realm of things that I know, it is possible that it is a benevolent being. She doesn't sound very convincing at all. And you saw the creatures that were with it, yes? With the leathery wings? Yes. In the shape and forms? Yes. They were not pleasant to look at? No. They did not feel right? Don't judge a book by its cover? If something feels polluting, it is probably a pollution. It is over now. We are out. What is the use of standing here? The longer we stand here, the more in jeopardy our lives may be. Yes. Let us not reflect upon what we have done. We Come, can reflect go to the, later. I'm let's just, go back to Cairo. It's a very uncomfortable situation, and she storms off. Frank, you know you're there, right? <laughs> They're at the doom, so I was with them there. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I forgot. You're in the hospital. Those three right now. I was like, oh, well, if I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this half of the table is alive and present. Oh, now I feel bad. Technically, he is still alive. <laughs> it's it's kind of time. <laughs> yes, okay, alive and aware. Okay, <laughs> so you guys hustle uh, Ian in his catatonia back to the car um, and drive back into Cairo. I, um, Dr. Whittington puts him in, uh, checks him into the, the hospital under an assumed name. But clearly this is the time where you don't want anybody to know who you are. Um, and you guys kind of settle in for the rest of the night. It's late. Um, the, the next week goes by very uneasily. Um, probably have a couple more conversations like this where Ma is insistent that there's a conversation about the demon and no one else wants to have that conversation because no one else wants to see it that way. Are they going to inform me of what happened? Yep. Well, it'd okay. be kind of hard not to. True. So you guys just left the body with them? Well, Why if we had had another companion properly armed, perhaps we could have rallied it and saved him. No. Oh. It would not have made a difference. <laughs> no. There were too many of them. That's what I was afraid I of. would have if I could have. He deserved it better. The week goes by... Uh, Wentworth, you spend your time reading? Studying, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Ma, what do you do? Um, seeing as how when I got into the car and going elsewhere, I've just been pooling blood everywhere, being horribly, <laughs> horribly wounded, I'm going to spend it focusing on not being wounded. <laughs> Hospital? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, One point away from being totally out. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Doctor, are you also going to check yourself in the hospital? You've got... You're still I a little am, beat up. I am, um, che- well, not checking myself in, but being at the hospital, um, being cared for, but I'm also going to uh, try to care for Ma as much as he would allow me to, and um, trying to work with Ian to see if maybe um, his, my, Ian some is, of his mind would come back. Ian's going to be a long case. It might be better to send him back home. Okay. Uh, then I would find out. <clears throat> I'm gonna self medicate. <coughs> so I drink? Do. No, like because <laughs> I have medical training. I'm gonna take care okay. of myself. Um, I would probably find out the information like with Eva. They were he was with Eva, so then I would try to find out. Where yeah, you, you have enough. From you have enough information already to send them okay. back. And, and Frank, you're going to heal that week. Yes. Okay. I need everybody that's um, healing without aiding themselves to roll two d or two d three. If I'm in the hospital, would that be aiding myself? No. You're, okay. You'll let that's somebody else check you out. So roll two d three. Two. It's a one on the side. Of the ridge. 
Okay. Here on the sides. That's how much we get back? Yes. Uh, Jason, you'll need to roll yes. medicine. Yes, you'll have to roll yeah. medicine and half that rounded down. <coughs> so three. Okay, so then you can go ahead and roll two and three. Because uh, I assume you're just going to be reading that week. Yeah, like, I'm okay. just resting and reading this and I put it hard to read. That. Three, four. So I'm down one. Oh, wait, yeah. One on top, right? Yeah. There. <clears throat> okay. You guys spend that week kind of just recuperating. You meet occasionally here and there for dinner. Uh, probably at the hospital, since two of you are still checked in. Can I actually have a conversation with McCree? With McCree? Her spirit? Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> sure. With Weddington? I'm not sure I can arrange a lot of that. Isn't that right. talking with ghosts? No, she's not dead. No. That's crazy. Well, I decided if we're all going to worship no, demons, I'm going to worship oh, demons right. and dead people, and we're going to do right. some uh, cool stuff here. No. Right. Well, when you cool. said McCree, I said go monologue. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, with Weddington. Um, I assume this is probably during the week while she's taking care of me. Well, she's taking care of me. This is a conversation Ma would want to have. Go ahead. Doctor. Yes. I feel very bad about what we have done. And I feel very bad for what circumstances have forced you to do. Because while I'm used to doing terrible things, I've always done them with the belief that I was doing it so I would live and create a life where I could do good things for people. And now I feel like that is not the case. We failed to do what we were doing. We let one of our group die without recovering his corpse, leaving it in the hands of those devil worshippers. And we may ourselves be in league with devils. And I am very concerned. Do you feel like you're in league with the devil? Is that what your heart and mind tell you? There's Allah and there's Satan. And what we just dealt with was not a servant of Allah. And that is what the professor was working in service of. And we, working with the professor, have also been working in service. I believe there's evil to be fought, but I'm no longer certain of which side I am on. Believe me, there is evil to be fought. And some of the things that I haven't imparted to the group, um, believe me, what I did, I did for the good of the human race upon this planet under God. Because had I not done that, such a great evil would be unleashed upon this population that we would be subjected to those demons possibly for all eternity in human form and not knowing what their capabilities are may be our souls and there would be no way to heaven or to whatever place Allah has. Yes. <clears throat> I believe, as you said, that we were fighting a great evil and we must do terrible things. I've done terrible things just to survive, and now I was hoping that I was doing terrible things for a better reason. My worry is that while there are clearly agents of the devil what if they are competitors and we are merely serving another competitor we must be cautious for as you say it is not just our souls but the souls of everyone yes and I believe in being cautious Um, I don't know if Wentworth's actions were the right way but at the time they seemed proper for the situation do you believe we should still make a cause with him I haven't known him for very long when Weld and Eva were sent back to the states um, that's when I became when I met the group his group of associates 
So I I cannot make a clear decision on on the matter. I think we need he needs to be observed. I mean, if he knows the same magic as the cultist, then to what end is he using that? Yes, that is the question. Very well, thank you. So, um, the week goes by pretty uneventfully for the rest of you. Um, <clears throat> Professor, you do notice towards the end of the week that one of the assistant curators who you've not necessarily kept away from, but you've been avoiding anyone but the head curator, yeah, I've been involved has, you've, you've noticed him a little more often. And he seems to, he looks at you almost, not that he knows you, but like he recognizes who you are. It's not in a bad way. He just goes, he notices you, recognizes you, and goes about what he's doing. Okay. Um, John, towards the end of that first week, is that when you want to whenever, check on her? Yeah, whenever the, he would have found him. Okay. So it does take you about a week after when you were expecting to meet him. Mm-hmm. Um you finally start combing the mental hospital and uh, come across you, you, you pull a little sway here and there with, with the doctors there because you know you're a man of the cloth and they, they're okay with that I would imagine I would be going because I knew Eva and Byrne or not, uh, Eva, Eva well, and Weld were checked in at one point mm-hmm. I'm, at, I'm not looking for a patient but I'm describing Eva. yeah and it does take you a little bit of time, mostly because he's not under any name of Burn or anything like that. You find him, finally find him under, uh, like, a John Smith or something along those lines. Um, and you, he, he has been restrained, put into a padded room. He rants. He becomes violent at points against nothing. There's nothing there in the room, but the light sh- swings just a little bit and he becomes violent and, it, and attacks the walls occasionally. Um, clearly something's happened because even as unsure as he was when he came to see you, he wasn't quite like this. Yes? So I have a side question. Uh-huh. Did they at least give him the comfort of a chair? Nope. Oh. No, he's in a padded room. Oh, chair, I mean, chair I mean something. For, I mean oh, for, yeah. Eh. Yeah. Um... It's probably during the or during the time that you're standing there, um, a doctor, a young woman, comes and walks up to, to seemingly check. Yes. So you approach. You notice a man, uh, a priest, standing at the door, looking in on. Sir, yeah. can I help you? I don't know. Are you this man's doctor? Um. Yes. In in a way. In a way. Uh, yes, I'm. Helping to look after his mental health. What happened? Um, who are you? Uh, you would recognize this man as uh, Father Valentin Grave. Grave, what do we say? Grave. Grave. Um, um, oh, so I know. You've him. seen the father around. You've never been introduced, but you've seen him around helping with patients and oh. here and there. And he ministers to the patients. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but I introduce myself now, Father Grave. Um, I work in the chapel and at the school. Um, he was out on a dig site and came back in this condition. Can you roll up persuade for me? Because te- technically that's a lie. There's enough untruth there. Except the medical. There you go. So 70. <laughs> Oh, 96. <laughs> so, no, no. Uh, <laughs> so, so, you say it like, it's he a was out on a dick side. Actually, it, <laughs> she, says it, she says it just normal, but it doesn't seem to have the confidence that a normal response would. Just It's just lacking just a little bit. Not to mention that I'm, my, this character knows what actually was planned. Well, but she also doesn't believe it. It's not like right. that's what she was told, that's what she believes. It's no. clear that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> do we know where any of his 
friends are. Did anyone come back? Uh, um, maybe a Dr. Wentworth, perhaps, I think, came back with him. Very well. Thank you for your time. It was very nice to meet you, finally. You have, too. A ni- have a nice day. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions about Mr. Smith. Okay. So, uh, Father, I assume you kind of wander off to go find, find the mysterious Dr. <laughs> Wentworth. Yeah. Who doesn't actually exist. Yeah. Uh, give me a luck roll. Yes. Um, it only takes you about half a day of asking around to realize it's not doctor, it's professor. Well, his name was, the name Wentworth. Oh, I guess that's true. You didn't know familiar that. Familiar to me. So I known it only takes you about half a day to figure out that he's at the museum. Okay. Um, will you be approaching him there? No, I'll probably be approaching him at the hotel. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Scott, it's, uh, it's time for your Wednesday meeting. Sweet. You go? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm in. Dapper. Surely it's time for your Wednesday meeting, I assume you go? Yes. <clears throat> so, uh, you both arrive at Edward Turner's um, home. Mm-hmm. Uh, the butler brings you in, sets you down for tea, and mm-hmm. then lets you know that, uh, mis- that uh, Mr. Turner is running late, but he'll be here shortly. Then that other members have canceled for this evening or are also running late. Okay. So it'll be just the two of you for a moment. Or 20. She was very drawn and only slightly disheveled. Um, Remind me of the character's name again. Catherine. Catherine Wentworth. No, Catherine. Catherine Whittington. <laughs> Catherine Whittington. I knew no. it was about you. <laughs> no, you haven't been married recently? That I no. yes. had some bizarre <laughs> underground demonic wedding ceremony? Oh, I didn't know what happened at the end yeah. of the last You game. only think we went there to rescue someone. <laughs> oh, so. It's all a conspiracy. Wilkerson was the sacrifice to bind the wedding. Yes, oh, yes, yes. if you only knew. Now I feel bad. All right. So, Cat- Catherine, how are you this evening? Um, I'm, I've been better. How are, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Ah. Do you go by Archibald or Archie or? Depends on how well, how familiar you are to <laughs> me. But Archie's acceptable to your close friends. Oh, yes. So the, you have to know me well enough to go, hey, Archie. I'd be like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Curious. So. More information from the new character. Can, and, you, just, can um, you describe yourself? I'm sorry. I should have done this with the father, but let's go ahead. And um, thirty-four years old. I made it a little younger. That's fine. Um, dark hair, fine suit. Um, I curate at the Cairo Museum, the Museum of National Museum, um, <laughs> the National Museum Museum of Cairo. There it is. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> I curate that one. it. <laughs> I, I've, I've been there so many times, I've forgotten what's written on the outside of the building. Yeah. Um, the uh, <laughs> they've changed the sign a couple of times. I don't know. Um, I it's that bro cream look for those of you that don't know a little dabble do ya mm-hmm. it's that it's parted and combed and well groomed but it's sort of it's not oil slicked mm-hmm. but it's very much in it's place it's mm-hmm. not gonna move and it's got that distinctive bro cream set for those of you that uh, of our listeners that don't know go smell bro cream one time you'll remember for the rest of your life so you're saying you're a dapper dan man I am a dapper dan man no I'm a bro cream man not a dapper dan man what kind of hat do you normally wear um fedora um, full suit, overcoat, mm-hmm. all the full set of haberdashery, wingtips. Oh, yes. Okay. Why would you wear anything less? <clears throat> okay. It's for, because, you, yeah, because you live in Cairo. <laughs> well, but it would be, what it, but it's a linen suit with yeah. the proper shoes, with, you know, it's not. Yes, I'm wearing English tweed in the middle of with 14 layers of leather and tweed. <laughs> Sweat like a hound. Hat. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yes, no, none of that. Okay. So, go ahead. 
And I come I think in, the question was to put my overcoat and everything down, take my uh, suit coat off, hang it up. I mean, we are we are going for cool, as in we are in the desert. Mm-hmm. Well, and you're probably sat in a, uh, a courtyard where you normally meet with breezeways through and all that kind Some of stuff. Some sort of iced beverage. Uh, no. no. It's tea. It's tea. tea. Oh, is it iced tea? No. People in hot climates drink hot beverages. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, really? What, what kind Seriously? Of, what kind of British tea society would you be in if it was iced tea? <laughs> just checking. The, the I don't know how these things work. Says the guy You'd be in the America tea society. <laughs> yeah, the American tea society. <laughs> the American tea society. <laughs> sweet tea. Sweet. Georgia sweet tea. Now, you probably have like mint cakes that, that still have that cooling effect. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so I drink my hot tea. Cucumber sure. sandwiches. Cucumber sandwiches with the crust cut off. Yay! Mm-hmm. Now, I'm sorry. What was the question posed to me? <laughs> Shirley doesn't remember. How are you liking your cucumber sandwiches? There you go. Oh, they're delicious. And yours? You mm-hmm. asked her how she was, and I said, "How am I?" Oh, I'm doing quite well. Things at the museum are going grand, as they always do. Oh. Um, it, it's been a... items this week. No, it's been a surprisingly light week for, you know, items coming into the museum. We're catching up on the cataloging. Everything seems oh. to be going quite well. Had a little bit of time to myself. Oh. Do anything special? Met a lady for dinner. But other than that, no. Interesting. You look somewhat, um, <clears throat> weathered, pinched just at the edges. Ah, uh, I haven't been sleeping very well. Nothing to worry about. Are you certain? It looks a little bit more than just a lack of sleep. Mm. Yeah. Just as in, you didn't look this hairy the last time we got together, right? Ah. Uh. Well, I just saw somebody uh, conjure up a demon. That's all. Really? Yeah. How did they do it? I don't know. It just was there. You, you actually do know. I do? You watched Wentworth cast a spell and put a mask on. You very much How do How would know. I know that, though? I could see him do the action. Yeah, no, I, I didn't hide know. it from you guys. I was yeah, all like, I can't uh, wait if I'm going to do this in front of people. It's not like, poof, the demon appeared. It's more like, uh, you know that he cast a spell. You can describe that or not. I'm okay. just making sure that yeah. the player remembers. The exact comical of actions was, pulls out Wooji mask from inside coat, slaps on face, says the magic words, Magical Sky Daddy appears. Eyes, <laughs> eyes, <laughs> irises fill the mask. There was and, uh, probably some chanting prior to him putting the mask fully mm-hmm. on because it's a whole right. thing. But it's yeah, cool thing. so you can impart whatever you would like. Okay. Um, it involved some chanting and a spell and a mask, and the sky opened and it was there. Was it? He- it wasn't here in town. How far out was it? Um, it was it was out by the pyramid, no. by the sphinx. No, were you? It injured? was out by um, it was out by the sphinx. Were you injured? No, I was not. Well, that's well good. yes, I was a little bit. I'm healed now. I'm fine. You seem uh, shaken by this. Are you okay? Do you? Do, who was the <clears> person <throat> that did? Do you know the person that? Cast the yes, spell? it's it's a group of people that um, I you know the story of the two that came into the um, that came into the insane asylum the woman and the man you yes. know, and Weld and um, they it was um, compatriots of theirs and um, I decided to go on to start doing help I started helping them. Hmm, you are not. Uh... Seeing another tea society, are you? No. <laughs> no, I would never. The Irish tea society? <laughs> no, it is not another tea society. You know all of the things that we've studied and that we've seen, and yes, the crazy this elder god monster that we've been talking about lately. What? Yeah. You seem perturbed. You are familiar with the with the name Nyarlathotep. Um, you're familiar with the dark pharaoh form as well as the uh, bloody tongue form. Okay. 
Yes, I, I <clears throat> not my favorite topic. Oh, okay. Um, well, oh, you weren't here the last time we had the meeting. Um, these, these people have actually claimed to see Nyarlathotep. And that is why Eva and, um, Weld, or, Cor- well, Mr. Weld were actually in the insane asylum. Where now, and yet, another person of the, um, of the party has gone insane, and he is there as well. So, under what pretext did you meet with this person to summon a demon? Uh, we were going out to stop... Nidicris. Nidicris. Um, we were going out to stop Nidicris, which, as you know, is... Blah, 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 blah. You guys fill in the blank. Um, Roll your call for me. I was warming up. Wow, I should have drank more caffeine. Surely it's having a hard time remembering stuff. Never heard of it before in my life. Uh, you've, heard of, <laughs> you've heard of Nidicris, but you don't understand the connection. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, to stop her from rising. Hmm. Huh. Who was it that cast the spell? Um, Omar. Professor... Omar. Which spell? The one to summon the demon. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, Professor Wentworth. He is the one that was in possession of the mask. And mask? did the chanting. Yes. What he mask? He started to chant. He had a mask. He put the mask on. What, what sort of mask? You know from the... What did it, from, wooden mask? You know from the nose, the mask of Hayama. The Mask of Hayama. Um, we knew. Well, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I was say, can I get a roll on that one? For the record, I told you guys this. We did no. a whole thing on I it. Yeah. 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 yeah, you did. Did he? Okay. Oh, yeah, I knocked okay. that out of the okay. Oh, yeah. Hi. So you know about mm-hmm. Hayama being um, an African deity from southern Africa, um, but the, there's some sort of connection to the mythos that you're not familiar with. It, it doesn't... You'd have to do more research to really get into that, but there's definitely a connection there. Hmm. <clears throat> A mask of Hayama. Interesting. Mm. Um, do you have natural history? Uh, no, but I have history. Roll history. I bring your plain old history. Yeah. Um, if if this mask were uh, something they had, and it went somewhere outside of, Egypt, of uh, Africa, it probably went through Nairobi. Hmm. It, through Nairobi into Mombasa to wherever. Okay. Hmm. And summoned the demon to what end? To help us. To help you what? Escape. Escape. I'm not involved in this conversation. So the conversation. <laughs> he's asking, what, how, why did we summon the thing? Uh, you suddenly return a weapon to him. He said that... Oh, the, did that, you give that back? I had to. Essentially, oh, I summoned it. Essentially, okay. essentially, the professor called the demon to... Or called... Nodins, wow. <laughs> Called Nodins to explain that you had not destroyed the body. Nodins required the dagger oh, back. And okay. then two, what you now know are Night Gaunts appeared to remove the, the dagger from his possession. Okay, so I think next time we do a recap. Anyway. <laughs> the recap we did last time at the very beginning was yeah. really good. Okay, very helpful. <clears throat> um, I... I'm not sure to what end. I only know that he gave it a um, a dagger, and then two bat creatures appeared. Large so, bat creatures. Roll Damn. I assume you described them a little better than that. With large leathery wings, look like. Um, did you get under your cult? Oh yeah. So you 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 can. Piece together several things that it, they could be, but okay. yeah, but they also could be straight demons. I mean, that sure, if this was a demon, they could be lesser demons, right? So, Catherine, let me ask you a question. Um, <clears throat> please don't take this the wrong way. This is meant in the best of light, as we are members together, and, Go ahead, and I respect you immensely. I, okay, why are you consorting with someone who summons demons? Well, all of the things that we have talked about, spoken of here, I was very curious. Of yes, but I didn't expect you to get arms deep in demonology. I expected you to go in another direction. I didn't expect this. We're working for a better goal. Are we not? And the thing... We are trying to save the world here. As it 
risen to that proportion, truly? Yes, it has. That's Are you questioning my... Integrity. Mm. That's a Ethics. Word. Integrity. Uh, moral outlook. Intelligence on this? No, not at all. I know your intelligence on this tends to be quite vast. Perhaps more than, than mine in several areas. I was merely questioning the depth to which you think that you've gotten yourself uh, strong. And if it's that bad that you think it's world, Im- that the impact is of a world proportion, do you need help? Well, we are one man down. Who did... Oh, yes, that uh, unfortunate gentleman who joined his compatriots at the hospital. You told me about him. Two men down. No, someone died out at the pyramid, and we had to leave him there. Under, under, not at, under. Under the pyramid. It caved in on him. Hmm. No. What? He was was beaten (laughs) to death. Yeah. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Who blew up the thing? That was after. That was late. Way later. We did that. Okay. So they wouldn't come running out after us. You guys so ran I out through dynamite back that in the door, so that it wouldn't look like we just left him there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, uh, you went, we left him there, and I went. Yeah, you and, was, and it came in on <laughs> yeah. him. Can you roll your we persuade? Abandoned his body. To <laughs> dark cultists, because oh, yes. it was expedient. <laughs> did you get your persuade? Because it was convenient. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Sure. I mean, yeah. if they were uh-huh. under the pyramid, and you uh-huh. don't know anything about yeah. under uh-huh. a pyramid, like mm. that doesn't make any sense. No, in a pyramid, yes. Yeah. Under a pyramid, no, eh, not so much. Okay. But you know, if they're under a pyramid, that might be some sort of cave that you're not familiar with. That cave Absolutely, down. sure they do. Hmm. So it sounds like you've gotten in quite deep with this other group. Yes. Interesting. Hmm. But you have expertise on. I would know what you have expertise in. Um, Museum curation, art, history, occult. Um, I would have shared a slim knowledge of a few topics of Cthulhu you might have brought up, not a bunch. Mm -hmm. Um, I would definitely have not shared with you the extent that I have. Um, You know that I'm good with some first aid. You know that I generally spend weekends when given the opportunity in the local bazaar or market haggling over this, that, or the other. Right. I enjoy the I enjoy the game of dickering mm. for price. So. <laughs> so right. Well I think you would find this group very interesting. And she gets up and she starts to pace back and forth with her hand on her chin. But it seems that uh, You've used the phrase world-altering, and you look more pinched and drawn than I've seen you perhaps ever. <clears throat> this is only because of the care of my patients, and I haven't been sleeping well. It's not due to... And she's totally going to lie about this. Um, I, I, cut, <laughs> I, cut, I cut you off and say, <laughs> not due to seeing a demon being summoned and losing compatriots under pyramids? No, no, not at all. I rolled an eight. I want to roll psychology yeah, on that. Yeah, <laughs> See if she's just lying her face off. Made it. Um, she. There's possible. It's possible. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Um, it doesn't make any sense for any of that to just to just brush that off and not worry about it. And she's like, no, not at all. But <laughs> she she has either she either is the, uh, is the case, which means she might be a little bit of a sociopath. Right. Or she's convinced herself because that's the best coping mechanism for her. And either way, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, then, that's good at least. Then you, perhaps you should get some sleep and uh, a good meal and mm-hmm. a few deep breaths and uh, the world will right itself. That sounds like a wonderful idea, actually. Where is Edward? Oh, and will you introduce me to the... Uh, mask holder. I think that would be a wonderful idea. Maybe you could take a look at it and tell us exactly what it is. Perhaps. Yeah. Wonderful. So. Out of character, you said something about the mask not working. Um, the uh, quarter of the markings on the front of the mask have gone away. Okay. Because you could no longer contact Nautilus using it. Uh, okay. Huh. Like, 
My assumption is that it's now just for making people crazy. Oh no, you can still see the other three deities. As I said, making people crazy. But and they're, they're <laughs> making people crazy. <laughs> knowing knowing that you could use it to contact Nodded to make it easier, you could probably do the same thing with that. That's not necessarily just for making people crazy, but it'll work. So, Edward walks in, mm. and we've kind of wrapped up our okay. conversation. Um, yeah, I, actually, Edward and a couple other people, a couple other members, um, Lamont, Lamont? Mm-hmm. No, Laurent. Laurent. Laurent also walks in with him and another member or two. Edward, Laurent, <coughs> it's so nice to see you. Um, you guys have a nice tea, and that'll end that. Um, okay. Oh, I, I say, I'm going to bring up the conversation and say, well, Miss uh, Catherine here has had a quite an exciting few days. And I reiterate it to them as well. <laughs> and as she does, I'm going to watch her retell the story because that's what like police do. They tell you to tell the same story over and over and over. And I'm going to note discrepancies, there differences, are, there facial expressions. There are a few discrepancies, but it seems more that she's flustered because if she tells it again, it seems to get to her again. Okay. Like on the verge of tears. Which is probably more than just, I didn't get a good night's sleep. It, it is probably a little bit like that. Fair enough. Um, so, the rest of that week wraps up. Uh, the next week starts, uh, and you guys kind of keep healing. Um, the, the next week we'll keep we'll go ahead and go on by. Everybody uh, under Doctor. Yes, go ahead. Uh, of course. I want, I want to uh, approach Ma at some point. Okay. During that first week? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, M- Mr. Ma. I'm I, I am interested in your religion. Is there any chance you'd be willing to inform me about this? Absolutely. We could start with your version of the Bible. <laughs> Let's start there. We have the Quran as our holy book. And it is the revelation given us to by the Prophet Muhammad, blessed be his name. And I would like to, because I'm not as comfortable with my um, player interpretation of Islam, I don't wish to offend people. No. I'm going to montage this and say it gives you pretty good cut and dry. Uh, Can you give me, um, (laughs) there are the people in the book, it's like Christians, it's another book in the Give me an English role, because you don't have, you're (laughs) definitely your first language. That's great. Oh. I actually make it. Okay. So there, there, there's a couple of halting spots where he, as he's telling you about it, he stops, and it's obvious that he's trying to figure out what it says. And then he explains that the Quran is only in Arabic because that is the only proper way to, to, to read it. Everything else is wrong. So as he's explaining it to you, it's clear that when he pauses, it's not because he's trying to deceive you. He's trying to make sure that he finds the proper the words. Yeah. Um, Would you happen to have a copy that I could read? I, I have my it. personal copy, but there are. It would be very, very easy to find one. Here. Yeah, yeah. You could um, probably in Cairo, throw, throw a rock. Game. Somebody will sell you one. Right. Yeah. So then, um, then I will go purchase me one. <laughs> yeah, because the out of <laughs> game. Do you speak Arabic? I have. Uh, yes, I'm 25 in Arabic. All right, just enough that you could get the most of it. Yeah. I will also like. I'll actually be pretty enthusiastic about this and be helping him with this. So, so you actually show oh, yeah. emotion in this? Yeah. Because you because in a lot of situations you're very. So, oh, no. uh, I, I don't try not. I'm animated and happy. This okay. is something I can. For the players, the Islamic viewpoint is there's no such thing as somebody who converts to Islam. You only revert to Islam because you were always Islamic. You just didn't know it. Congratulations. <laughs> so it's more like you're waking up and seeing the real religion instead of changing religion. Yeah. Although, the reason my hand shot up in the air is because you've lived in Cairo for how long? And this is the first... Can you tell me about this strange no, no. religion you no, call I, 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 I know a little bit about for, it, but for, I... And for the the white people in Cairo this time, the white people stay with the white people. Even yeah. the diggers, they hire some people. And it's very much... It's looked very much like these are just the indigenous people we hire. And that's about it. So okay. him not learning about it kind of makes sense. Okay. So it's a very divided society. And after seeing what they did with the the guys with the swords and stuff, I'm, I'm very interested in the religion. It's is your interest in sincere? Yes, it yeah. is. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> you have found the faith. I have. <laughs> okay. So I'll also, just I will express some of the concerns that I expressed to the doctor about. Because I've told you about what we did with that professor <laughs> and how that's concerning to me personally. 
in exactly the same kind of phrases. So. <laughs> Has he mentioned sure. that he is my Padawan? Oh. <laughs> um, so the next, the first week ends. The next week will go by as well. Everyone under Doctor Care can again roll two d three. You going to stay under Doctor Care? Or are you just going to take care of it yourself? Yeah. Okay, then you just heal that last point, because you're going to roll a d3 if you're just healing more naturally. George, are you healed up? Uh, I already rolled for it. I am not healed up, though. I'm still pretty... You rolled for both weeks? Yes. Okay. But I'm still pretty banged up, bandaged. I had some pretty bad wounds. Okay. Um, During that week, uh, Jason, you gain 18 points in Cthulhu Mythos. And then I need need you to make a sanity roll. Is this before or after he loses her? Oh, it's fine. Uh, you lose a d10. Okay. What'd you roll? Nine. Okay. Is that a quarter of your standard? No, a fifth of your standard. Not even <laughs> close. Um, okay. So you are down. You're up 18 points. You finish up the Necronomicon. Do you want to learn any of the spells? And I will read those off to you if you would like. Um, yeah, I've already got them written down. Call dismiss. Call dismiss. Call. We're gonna skip those. Oh, okay. These are other ones. We're gonna call, skip all the call dismiss. Yeah. Contact the no. <clears throat> Contact Sand Dweller. Dominate. 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 Oh, that's bad. Uh, Dread Curse of Azathoth. <laughs> also bad. Hold on a second. Can you yes. dominate like dominate. that last bit to me? Azathoth. A Z A. You know what's called. O T H. You don't know how to spell Azathoth? <laughs> yeah. Wow, really? I mean, n- you know, Natharlothoth okay. rolls again. off the tongue. <laughs> Dust of Sulman? S U L E I M A N? Sulman. Okay. 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 Dust of? Yeah. S U L I? U E E I. E I, sorry. E I. M A N. M A N. Sulman. Elder yeah. Sign. Uh, that's a good one. I thought I had that. Mm-hmm. Powder of Imgazi. Maybe MG. Yeah. Wow, it's like George knows how to spell this stuff like he's a cultist <laughs> in real life. <laughs> what was that, George? I B N hyphen, maybe. G H A Z I. Son of Gazi. Uh, re- resurrection? Fireball. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Resurrection. Yeah, resurrection as in as in could have used that when Wilkerson <laughs> went down. Do, do, would you like me to read the, the resurrection spell because yeah. it's terrible? Yeah, yeah, I kind of would. Oh, no, I want to be able to explain to the party why I'm lighting candles around a dead body at some point. <laughs> uh, going to summon a demon to inhabit the the, the <laughs> oh, yeah, shell of the former good. player. So right. Here we go. The spell reduces a corpse to its essential salts and compounds. A bluish gray powder. Or reverses the process to yield ultimately the form and soul of the deceased. Uh, a complete huh? corpse is necessary. You either destroy the body completely to its base compounds, right. salt, or resurrect, or, or, or bring, bring it back, back to life. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, with the like, personality intact, or just as a zombie, it, it, it will be with personality intact. Could you just kill this? <laughs> Well, your mental you state would still be three, three magic points and 1d10 sanity uh, being resurrected in this manner costs the victim 1d20 sanity so it burns out oh. <laughs> could roll one as in 1d20 off their top end score or 1d20 from wherever they were when they died ouch Yikes. never mind who <laughs> You are healed! So let me ask you this. So crazy. if you resurrect somebody and they lose all their sanity in the roll, do they just... They're back, but they get... Yeah, yeah they go catatonic, yeah. Nice. All right, uh, what other spells we got going on? It's really useful. I want to make sure time yeah. on this, and it doesn't say time, so I'm going to say it's going to take a week on that one. Um, shriveling. Do you really want summon bind spells? Summon bind Biaki. Yeah, Summon bind fire vampire. Summon bind. Summon bind servitor of the outer gods. Can, I was like, can <laughs> don't we just get that one. Yeah. <laughs> like, in the event that it comes up, can we just assume I'm familiar with it? He, I, I have no intention of summoning anything. If, you, <laughs> if, if your character, Again? Has, if your character yes. has no no intention, then you won't learn it. That's the well, no, the binding aspect of it. Okay, it's maybe all one spell. Oh, okay, never mind. Right. 
Yeah, you mean you don't want to? You have no intention of summoning anything else. Yeah, but if like, so I see someone walking down the hallway, I might jump into a broom closet and be like, "You will not attack me." It takes a <laughs> lot longer to do. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. Yeah. Um, you, I, I meant to stress the again. <laughs> okay, just saying. Yeah. So, uh, so summon by right. Yaki requires a special whistle. Um, dog whistle. I already have enough accoutrement. Yeah, like there's a lot. It has to be done between between October and March. Unless you want to take some negatives. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, and then the last one is Vorish Sign. You can ride around on them, though. <laughs> they look like this. They pick up little kids. Oh, that's that awesome. <laughs> Horrible chicken-headed bad creatures. I hear they, oh, cool. pick, they like to pick up little yeah. kids, and then when you shoot them, they drop the kid and kill it. Yeah. Good shooting! <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So, um... But, yeah. we, but that would be safe transportation to say China, No, it right? really would not. Oh. No, because artillery or art- artillery rounds will still kill you. Oh, well, who would shoot artillery at? Or uh, We'd call ahead? Or like, uh, we're going to be riding chicken-headed bad creatures. Just okay. ignore so, us. You use them to fly to the moon. Ooh. You guys uh, all heal that week. Everything's good. Um, and actually, I think that's going to do us tonight for Mastiff near Lithotep. You guys can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. Head over to our website and sign up for our newsletter, please. We would uh, greatly appreciate it. It'll be on the right-hand side, just under the Amazon link. Uh, sign up there for all of the updates weekly for what's going on on the website and in our general lives, and we will talk to you guys real soon. This has been a production of the Omega Nerds Network, the network where it's on.